Since it's the beginning of the month, I just wanted to give a special shout out to my Patreon supporters at the producer tier. Alex H, Rex Thor, Dennis H, GSC, Joshua M, Madden, Peter S, and Tegan P. Thank you so much for the support. Autumn and I love you all. You people rock. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KG48, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Difficulty Rising. Today, we are going to continue working on our living base, our our home base, HQ. I'm going to call it HQ, and then the other one will be Horde Base, HB. That's not too bad. Uh, maybe I should come with some names for them, but we are going to be working on the base today. I'm going to make, I think, the workbench room. Might be pretty good. I went ahead and made a cement mixer. I don't remember what room the cement mixer is going to go in. I think it was... I think the cement mixer is going to go in the workbench room. If I remember correctly. Um, I'm going to have the forge room, which is one I already did. I'm going to have the food room, which is going to be um, campfires. And I'm also going to have... That's going to be like a healing room. So that's also going to be chemistry stations. And then I'm going to have... I think I needed two other rooms. The one was going to be workbenches... And maybe workbenches and then cement mixers in the other room? Oh, no, armory. It was going to be an armory. That's right. So one's going to be, um, okay, forges, chemistry station, and, and, and campfires. I wish we had something better to cook on than a campfire, by the way. It's about time. You know, every other game I play, you, like, start with a campfire, and then you can make something cooler later. Um, why, are we, why are we making stuff with campfires, like, 100 days into the game? Right? So I'm thinking, um, okay, so forge room. Uh, chemistry station and and um, campfires, workbenches and cement mixers, and an armory. Now cement mixers really should go in the forge room, but I've already made the forge room and I really like the way it is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it alone and uh, just keep it the way it is. Uh, we do need some food, so let's go ahead and grab that and let's go downstairs and see what we got going on. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to put the um, the generator. I think I want the generator to be down here. Um, so, oh, that's right. We don't have relays. That's right. We couldn't do anything with the generator because we don't have relays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, let's go ahead and build out this room like we're going to exactly on the other side. Yeah, that'll work. So that comes straight through here. Just like that. Actually, I think it was... Yeah, I made a little uh, storage area on the other side. That's right. Yeah, storage area's right there. Okay. Okay, so that one comes out like that. All right. So that goes like that. This goes like this. And then we can make the storage or or area over here if we so choose. All right, so we're going to be doing workbenches and cement mixes. This should be a, a relatively easy setup. Let me go ahead and get down the lights first. Um, I guess I'll just put it right there for now. And I do have four lights now, which is grand. One right there. One right there. One right there. And see how that goes. I probably have to go up and get an engine. Alright guys, it's been sitting here setting stuff up and I hear some zombies. I'm not sure exactly where they are, but I do hear them. You guys aren't gonna be able to see. This is rough. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna give make a. I'll make it brighter when I go inside and the lights are on. It's gonna be too bright, but I'd rather it be too bright than not bright enough. Where are they? I hear them, but I'm not seeing them. All right, hold on. Shh. Sounds like they're on this side. How are they? I feel like they're right underneath me. It also sounds like they're getting hurt. Like it sounds like they're taking damage, but there's no way they could be. How are they? There you are. Suck on that, you piece of shit. Get the hell out of my house. I ain't having none of it. 
I think that was the only one that was down there. So, let's see if we can do some work here. Wait. Nothing. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and block up these windows. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to block them up with... Well, this one's definitely going to get blocked up. Because I don't like stuff like on the corners like that. So those will definitely get blocked up. Um, I'm definitely going to break this out. And the... That's not the right tool cage. Uh, the uh, the workbenches are too too wide, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have at least two of them down here. I probably could make room for three. I've never had more than two workbenches. I don't really see what I'd need that for, but who knows? All right, so that'll be like that. Let's go ahead and build with this until we know exactly we're gonna how, how we're gonna be building stuff out, so we can change stuff around pretty easily. All right, that'll be like that. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I could fit three right in there side to side. Is that the way I want to go? All right, guys, I, I thought of a plan. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the setup over here. This one, I really like the way this came out. And I think I'm going to do this on every one of my storage areas. I think that'd be pretty cool. And while I'm here, why don't I just go ahead and do this? Now, eventually, I'm going to have five there. But for now, it's only three. Actually, four, because one's upstairs. So I only have to make one more forge. Uh, so I really like the way this came out. So I think we're going to stick with this motif. I'm not going to make them all stone, right? This is stone because it's forges. My workbenches will probably be some kind of wood setup. I think that'd be pretty cool. So uh, first things first. Get that down there. That there. Uh, we're going to need this. Let's block up these windows. The only thing that sucks about the setup is I can't really put windows down there, but that's okay. It's a it's a small price to pay for a cool looking setup. Um, so the workbenches won't be on top of anything, so they'll just be on the floor. So right. yeah, so that was fine. Okay, so that was right against the wall, right? This was the original wall of the base, I believe. Um, one, two, three wall. Okay, one, two, three wall from that pillar. Let's just make sure. I'm pretty sure it is, but just in case. One, two, wait. No, it's from here. One, two, three wall. Yeah, it wasn't the pillar. It was the side, side thing right there. Lined up right here. Yep, one, two, three. Okay, it is the wall. It is. All right, so we're going to do it. So we're going to do like this. Okay. And like this. Now that's... Okay. We're going to put one workbench on one side, one on the other side, and we're going to put the storage in the middle. It's that simple. Stuff writes itself. So that's supposed to be like that, and then that's supposed to be... Like this. Uh, advanced. Right? Yeah, that comes out one. That's exactly the way that it is on this side. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. The wall, one block, two block, slope. The wall, one block, two block. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, we got this. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. Um, so I'm going to have to do it there. So like this. How high is it? How high was it? It was three, right? Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's go across like this. And like that. Come on, give me those back. Alright, so that goes right up to the top. Except there's a light in the way. Mess around with that later. And then right here is the old the old uh, flagstone ramps. And copy rotation. And then like so. 
and they come right around the top, so this is going to be a full block. Alright, so we're not getting enough light down here because of the way this is uh, going to be built. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these lights and I guess just for the time being, I could put it right there. That might be too much though because it's going to be right there, you know. I don't see any other way to do it though. So I'm going to put it there for now. And I'm going to put this one here. I just want to get as much light in here as possible. We need to get some relays going. I need to do a lot more wrenching. That's what I need to do. I did do wrenching before this video, but not enough. Alright. That looks alright. Okay, so uh, let's go grab the workbench. Bring it down here. Alright, it's two. Two up top, two down here. Yeah, that looks exactly right. Let's go on up here. It's daytime already. I hate wasting, da I hate wasting daytime building in the base. But what are you going to do? Maybe I'll clear out um, a building around here somewhere. Somewhere close. So I don't have to go far. Alright. So this is going to be clay. Alright. 10 minutes left. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So about 20 minutes should be plenty. Okay. So I think it'll be cleared out soon. And you, my friend, are coming with me. Repair. Ah, oh, get out of here. I think I hit it at one point by mistake. <laughs> oh, I never thought where to put the cement mixers. Oh, crap. F me. All right. Um, uh, maybe I can put the cement mixers in between. Yeah, I could do that. They'll be on top of your job. That's not going to be ideal, but... Totally forgot about the cement mixers. Unbelievable. Now, what do I need to repair this thing? I know I at least need that. So let's see if that's it. Yep. Cool. Alright, let's grab this thing and put it down there. I got fair. I want at least two cement mixers, preferably like four. So Alright guys, the people at Twitch came up with a good idea that is going to pull my bacon out of the fryer because um Man, like the idea that I built this without the cement mixers in mind was just... I'm also thinking about what, this, what the cement mixers make and how they work. Cement mixers go with forges. But I've been doing that for years. So I know this is not ideal. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be unideal um, to make something new. I'm just... I don't want to... You know, just making it the other way like so long. It's like, let's do something new, right? Alright, so what I'm going to do is this. Right? And then this. Am I... Um, hold on a sec. Yeah, no, we're good. And then like this and put the cement mixers behind him. I think I actually want it higher than that. And then cement mixers in the back. It doesn't make much sense because I wouldn't be able to get up to them up there, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I can live with that. I can live with that. Lower. Do you think lower would be good? See, I don't like lower because then it's like, it's overlapping. So I think that's a, I think that's a good way to go. And what I'll do is I'll put one of these right in the middle and uh, one on the other side. Maybe two of these. Yeah, I kind of like it better with one. What am I going to keep in here, though? It's going to be tools. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be tools. Um, so I only need one. It's just going to be tools. You know, stuff like mechanical parts, duct tape, things like that. So that should be fine. And then I don't have to worry about over here at that point. Cool. All right. So now we got to build it up. So let's do that. Um, it comes out one from the pillar. Yeah, I was thinking about putting the, the cement mixers in the front of the benches, but I, I don't I don't know. I, I kinda like it better like this. I think that's fine. I'm getting a little picky at this point, so I think that is a is a really good um, decision. I think it's uh I think it's gonna work out just fine. Okay, so let's do this. Actually, you know what? I don't have to build these. Oh yeah, I do. Never mind. Never mind. One, two, three. One more up. 
Okay, we'll do this and this. Come across, my friend. And then we go to our arch blocks. And then we grab our hammer and we start upgrading. Yeah, it's looking good. Should we make the other workbench now? Make more. I, I, we can't make any more cement mixers. I don't have any. Um, I don't have any engines. Uh, but I might be able to make some more workbenches. At least one more workbench. Let's see. Uh, uh, do I really want to waste those mechanical parts? That's all the mechanical parts I have. Nah. It's, it would just be for the screenshot. I don't need that extra workbench right now, so I will leave that be. But what I will do is I'm going to grab my paint and my paint brush, if I can find it. Old painty big paint brush. I don't know if I like, scrapped it or something. There it is. I was going to say, why did I scrap it? Is there any more paint in here? I thought I had more paint than 36, but I guess not. Uh, 36 might actually not be enough. Do I have anything else that's painted that I could take dyes off and and scrap? I don't think so. And I hope I haven't been scrapping stuff with dyes on them recently. Uh, oh, there's some. Scrap. Alright, that should be enough, hopefully. Okay, let's get down here. We gotta make this place livable, you know? Alright, these lights are getting to be too much now. As a matter of fact, let's just pick that up. I don't know how I'm going to light this place. I'll, I don't know. I'll think about that later. All right. That's a pretty decent amount of light right there. All right. Now, how do we want to paint this? Obviously, I want it to be something wood because uh, we're going to be building the same way as the, um, you know, the forge, but we're not going to be painting it the same way. So which one of these would best say workshop? Honestly, metal might say workshop. I would like to paint something metal. Um, but I don't know. The metal looks really that good. I don't have the paint to waste either. So I got to pick something that I know is going to work. Yeah, I don't think the metals look that good, to be perfectly honest. So I think wood is probably still the way to go. Like this stuff. That says workbenches to me. All right, I think I found something that, you know, I kind of like. I don't think it's bad. Um, uh, crafting. What the hell is all this, players? I was hitting tab because the other game I was playing, tab, like, does a lot of stuff. And, like, I didn't know, I forgot tab does all that stuff. All right, so what I'm using is, uh, for the bottom part, metal reinforced wood. Okay. And I'm going to have to move this. No way around that. Uh, come on, eight seconds. Damn, man. Let me just pick this stuff up, bro. What's your deal, fun pimps? Thanks, on fun pimps. Am I right? Oh, freaking allergies. And there we go. Okay, so now we can put that back. And then we are going for... <laughs> Which one? Darn it. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, boy. A lot of this wood looks really crappy. Like, the Fun Pimps got in their heads with, like, oh, it's the apocalypse. Everything's supposed to look bad. And I'm like, but I want to make stuff look good. Too bad, Cage. Too bad. All right, guys. I found it, kind of. Um, in case you're wondering which one I'm using, it's this one right here. And the way I found it was I used Texture Picker. I forgot that's a thing. So... There we go. All right, it's all looking good. Okay. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I like it, man. Workshop, it's wood. That works well for me. You turn off. 
Oh no, I'm out. Oh, you're killing me. What do I need to make paint? Ooh, do I really want to sacrifice oil for paint? How many do I get? Like, how much paint do I get? Like, ten? One? The thing is, I gotta finish this, because I want to I wanna do the, um... I want to get a screenshot of it for the thumbnail. So, I guess we're gonna have to go out and get some paint. Uh, well, I already have chrysanthemums. Oh, actually, I probably don't have chrysanthemums. I probably made them all into, a uh, drink. So, let's go ahead and grab some chrysanthemums. Should be quite a bit around here somewhere. Hello, chrysanthemums. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I do not like wasting oil on this, but... How many chrysanthemums does it take? Just one? Okay. That's plenty. I'm assuming you get like 10 paint per combine. Because like one thing of oil is is like, that's no joke, right? Yeah, I'll bet you get 10, maybe even 16. Ah, uh, right there I was digging out clay, by the way. Oh, look at this. They broke out my thing. What a bunch of dicks. What a bunch of absolute pieces of crap. You're trash! Muff cabbage! I need to eat something too. Where'd my food be at? I'll eat one more. And we already had chrysanthemums, but that's okay. We could always use more chrysanthemums. Grab that. Uh, paint. We might even get 50, honestly. Like, no joke. I wouldn't be surprised if we... Oh, 100! Oh my god! Okay, that's even better. Oh, that's beautiful. Should have done that a while ago. That is freaking amazing. And that's great, too, because... You know, painting doesn't give you any kind of advantage against the zombies. It gives you nothing except for aesthetic. Let us let us build our aesthetic basis. You know, that's great. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking the thing across the top might want to be this. Yeah, yeah, that brings it together a lot nicer. Yes. Now we want to do back there. Stay with the faces? Yeah, let's stick with the faces. Kind of like them. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to do to uh, really bring this all together. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do it. It's going to be expensive. Actually, I don't think we should. I was going to make a, um, a lantern and put it right on the box. But, like, I don't know. I think it's going to be too bright. But you know what? You can always use lanterns. Lanterns are good for a l Oh, I can't make lanterns. I don't have any, um... Lanterns. I don't have any, uh... Any electrical parts. I'm gonna go out and get some electrical parts to see if I have time. I got some time. Let's go get some electrical parts. You know, honestly, with this lantern, it, it might be enough to light up the whole room with the spot I'm gonna put it in. Um, so, we'll see. We will see. They are, they're pretty expensive, man. Like, four duct tape. Uh, five oil. I mean, it's a pretty decent amount for the lanterns, but... it's The thing is, I wish you could... Okay, so they're obviously, like, like the kind of lanterns you should be able to, like, um, turn down, right? That looks like an electric lantern, so how could... Like, maybe we should be able to dim it a little bit, you know? Yeah, it is a small room for the lantern. This is going to be open, by the way. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this at the moment. For now, it's fine just the way it is. But I'm going to leave this open. I want, like, a, a railing to go across here so I can kind of, like, look down. Maybe I'll make this, like, an entranceway or something. I don't know. Kind of see. Yeah, it's a bit much. It really is a bit much. Um... Hold on. Now that looks pretty good. Actually, that looks perfect. That looks perfect. Like, that's exactly what I want it to be. It might be a little dark in here during the night. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But I can alter it later on if I need to. For now, 
that is just what I wanted it to be. All right, cool. Very good. All right, I do think I'm going to call this one here, though. Uh, we've got a workstation now, which is awesome. The workstation? I don't know. I think maybe we could call it that. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll put some signs on these things. Anyway, guys, if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. All right, guys, we're going to do a little bit of bonus content for you super fans. I'm just sitting here coloring stuff and, like, just kind of seeing what's going on. Uh, again, for you super fans, you'll see this first. Um, I went ahead and colored the rest of this thing stone on the inside and left wood on the outside. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here with the wood. And as I was putting down the wood, I'm like, why did I paint the wood? It's just regular wood. Why would I paint it? It was flagstone. I put down flagstone and then painted it into regular wood. Oh, my God. That is um, that is special, Cage. You are a special, special person. Uh, yeah, I might just actually change the, 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 the texture just so I don't feel like such a dumbass. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, that's the real end of the videos. I'll see you next time. <laughs>